Guys, guess what? We're back. Oh, this is so <laughs> gross. <laughs> back in the shop today. Man, this is cool. Why does this motor look so humongous in this car? That's because it's a V6. <laughs> a turbo V6 in a Civic. Dude, that's gotta be fast. And then we got this baby. Dude, there's always so many. Dude, he has so many cool cars here. And then where's my motor? Oh, it's over here, hi. Oh yeah. Look at this, look at this nice refreshed baby girl. Today, I'm gonna finish drinking my Monster because it's gonna be beautiful. And we're gonna put the heads back on and fully reassemble the motor, assuming everything's gonna go okay, and hopefully we'll get everything in time. And I'm trying to give you a thumbs up and I'm just holding a monster in front of you. And we should be good. Huge thank. Okay, well that's not, I'm so bad at opening boxes, dude. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, um. Huge shout out to Action Clutch. Okay, so we got a nice little, Oh, yeah, that's 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 a, that's a good looking clutch. And then we've got some stickers. Always got to do those. And then we got a nice little. I love that little red housing. This is sort of like the sort of the missing piece to uh, all that we have left, aside from you know literally piecing the motor back together. I want to give a big big thanks and shout out to Action Clutch for sponsoring this. I have a link for you guys in the description. Damn. <laughs> Pretty. That's a nice clutch. That's that a sick clutch. That is unsprung and that is like centered. Yeah, they were. <laughs> that is an aggressive disc right there. <laughs> I yeah. told them, I was like, this is going to be just for drifting. That's so what that is for. <laughs> I was, I'm used to seeing spring. I mean, even the, even the SC300 has a sprung clutch. So this is going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. But I'm so psyched. Thank you so much, Action Clutch. So I guess the first thing we're going to do today is open up the oil pump because that's what we need to know. It's so good. There's a lot of little chunkies in there. Oh, that's really cool looking. So we're gonna check for like chunks inside of the cog. For wear on the face, which it looks pretty good. Yay. It looks pretty good. I don't really see anything. I don't see indi any uh, indentations, you know, where a piece of that bearing like huh. got uh, embedded in there right. or something. So it looks like this. the pickup tube did a pretty good job of keeping out any Sweet. real chunks there. That looks like that should be fine. Saves me 300 bucks. Time for the best part. We're putting the heads on finally. And so I am beating a little bit of RTV, way less than they would have used before. And uh, we're gonna get these suckers on. That's pretty good. Okay, we've got the uh, this side, this head on, and now we're gonna do a leak down test to make sure everything, all the work we just did is <laughs> hopefully promising. <laughs> yeah, we're sweeping good. Sweet. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it, you, you can't necessarily expect it dry right now to, to sure. swing and hit. Oh, that's true, because it was the, lubricated and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. That's a good result. If they, uh, if they all look like that, we'll be happy camper. Oh, yeah. Another similar. Promising? Yep. Also good. It's actually giving enough uh, <laughs> compression to move. Oh yeah, it'll this turn side of this. That's so funny, it started turning the motor a little turn bit. the motor for sure. So to seat everything, we had to do 75 foot-pounds, or 72 foot-pounds across the board. And then after everything was torqued, we loosened it back up all the way. <laughs> but they all, all, all are all sitting where they should be. Where they should be right now. <laughs> after we loosened everything up, we moved it down to 32 foot-pounds. And then factory OEM instructions are to go 90 degrees from 32 on all of them, and then another 90 degrees from that. So it ended up being about 95 to 100 foot pounds. Now this side is fully finished. Think I'm looking okay? Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. A good one. Cool. Six for six. Hell yeah. Now um, cams go back on, and it's pretty simple except for the timing assembly from here on out. Mm -hmm. We've got that side of the cam in, for the two cams. Now I'm going to do the exhaust. On this side, it's pretty simple. It kind of just goes in exactly where it needs to go in, just like that. And then we have like the little respective little cam caps right here. A few moments later. So we're about to go to O'Reilly's to exchange part of the timing assembly because we need some more stuff. And I looked out, and there's a note. It says, love the vids, good luck, and keep it up. Yeah, buddy, EC. That's so cool, man. That's so sweet. So we needed to go to O'Reilly because we're gonna be changing the entire timing 
assembly. We're gonna be tearing that apart and doing, well not tearing it apart, but we're gonna be doing the new stuff. We don't actually need the sprockets because the OEM sprockets are fine, but if I were to get everything else minus the sprockets, the set would actually be more and special order. So even though I have everything, I couldn't just like return the sprocket. I'd be sick if I could just like return the sprocket and get like 50 bucks or something back. But we're gonna just literally use the entire thing. So hold the timing assembly, hold everything. This motor is gonna be literally day one, brand new. Pretty stoked about that. Definitely just excited to get it running and hopefully it runs just fine whenever it is. Ooh, ooh, Casey got some new kicks. He's got the drifty spares. He's trying to go to Mexico. Trying to go to Mexico. Damn. Yo! So it's a lot more expensive to get parts separately and the timing chain is special order. Even though that I have it weeks. even though I have it in my hands, I'd have to order another yeah, one. So this is what we're using. So then. this is I have to use All this. Right. So this is the this is the deal. This is what's That's up. what you get for trying to be smart. Yeah. A lot of the motor build process is like super just extensive cleaning. Here is one of the covers that goes over one of the that goes over the cams. As you can see, there's like R you can see there's like RTV everywhere on it. It's really nasty on both sides, so I gotta clean that off. And this is what a a cleaned one is supposed to look like. So it takes like five ten minutes, but literally there's just so much cleaning involved in this kind of stuff on every little part. Um, it just takes a while, but it's also really fun. I think it's rewarding, and when you start cleaning stuff, it makes you feel better. It makes you feel like you're building a nice motor. Hell yeah, nice and clean, ready to go on. I do want to remind you guys, it is Wednesday, I know, but these shirts come out Black Friday along with a hat, a new shirt, and some more other goodies. So make sure you guys check out 5-3 Supply for an amazing Christmas sweater. What are you guys laughing at? He goes, um, it's Tuesday. That one's good. Okay, so oddly enough, people from this shop just went on the trip that Adam just went to to Ebisu to go drifting. So. Fun fact. Also, um, Ethan just got both timing chains for each of the cams done, and now you're gonna do the main one. The main middle. Now we one. get the big chain, yeah. The big, so, that's a big boy. VQ timing stuff is a little bit uh, complicated, but if you kind of break it down into do this one, do this one, then do the. I have a question. Do your chain hang low? It wobble to the flow. Can you tie it into that? Can do a shine in the light. Is it platinum or is it gold? Is this actually made ne definitely out of? Um, is this gold? This is gold. You just can't yeah, see it. Can have a satisfying moment on video of pulling these grenade pins. <gasps> I was wondering what those are. Woohoo! I'm scared. <laughs> They're tight. What's up, babe? <laughs> cool. That's what we should do. We should open a jewelry. Um, store, store of made car out of like car, car parts. <laughs> okay, that's on. That one's on. It should hold itself there. Yeah. Okay. Looking good, yeah. Now I'm cleaning out the oil pan. Look at all this RTV, dude. This is just one like clean little sweep through. Like an entire snakes. That's disgusting. Ew. Uh, so I'm gonna, Why do you always go to licking stuff? That's what so I want to know. It's the worst possible scenario. <laughs> Thankfully, this part we're at right now is, uh, it's all kind of downhill from here. Putting the valve cover on with the gasket. I, I did not put <laughs> half of the RTV on that they did before. You really only need it for like the corners, the, the cams are, like where this little area is, you just need it for right there. It's actually super simple. You don't need to overdo it. It's hard to put it on and talk. No, it's, it. it's just hard to, <laughs> it's just kind of hard to get on sometimes. It just doesn't want to down. There it goes. There we go. And um, this is pretty much it. I mean, the we are literally now just skiing down the mountain. Hey guys, you remember this car? Yeah, I own it. It's just sitting here. I miss it. Actually, I've driven it for like 10 minutes and I already miss it. I have so much I wanna do to it. Oh man, I already got seats. I already have seats, a steering wheel, 
Fresh motor, coilover, custom spec coilovers coming for this baby. So much stuff. I have really not chilled out. Usually I'll take my time with stuff, but I already have basically everything I need except for like a wise fab kit for this seat. I'm probably gonna start drifting this more than my SC for sure. Sorry. So for the last piece of tonight, we've got the intake manifold on. I didn't update y'all on any of that, but intake manifold's on, um, valve covers are on. Front seal is uh, what we gotta do next, and that's gonna be the last step we're gonna do today. Yeah. And this car's basically gonna be a um, mostly mostly functional motor at this point. <laughs> it, uh, it does look like a motor now. It is finished for today. We don't have too much more. We have a lot just like kind of sitting over there, but uh, the next moves are just like get spark plugs in, get fuel, get the harness and get the exhaust on, gotta get the clutch on. Again, huge shout out to uh, Action Clutch. It is just gonna sit over here in this nice little corner until we can get it on. Feels like we're within a, a day of, you know, yeah. Getting it done. Solid day worth of work. We should have a running car. Hell yeah. Let's go! I'm so ready for this thing to run. So, so ready. Hey man, huge shout out to Ethan and KC back there. Say hi, KC. <laughs> My FR Legends buddy. <laughs> for uh, all the hard work and uh, getting this done. I'm so, 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 so psyched. Hopefully everything can get uh, running and broken in because we do have an event uh, down in Houston in a couple weeks. I'm so excited to get, um, get this car done. Hopefully also all my other parts are here so I can drive it. Make sure you guys check out their YouTube channel as well, Trackstar Media Works, I'll have it in the description for you guys, as well as checking out Action Clutch, I got a link for you guys in the description. Oh, let's, here's to hoping we can get things running tomorrow. And have a great Thanksgiving, by the way. I will have a video for you on Thanksgiving. Have a great Thanksgiving, bye. Yeah.